You've probably heard of bronchitis and emphysema, two respiratory problems that can cause wheezing and cough. But what about tracheobronchomalacia, also called TBM? This condition is caused by a narrowing of the central airway and can lead to serious breathing problems. Fortunately, Boston is home to one of the nation's leading centers for the treatment of TBM. Joining me now is Dr. Sadhu Gangadaran, director of the Chest Disease Center at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. How common is TBM? TBM is one of these diagnoses that probably exists in many more patients than we actually know about. Uh, estimates range from 4% to 13%, but if you look for it, you'll find it in many patients who have respiratory conditions. Now talk about treatments. Are they surgical? So at this time, the most definitive treatment is surgical. Um, there are other treatments that are available, such as stenting, which involves placing a small plastic prosthesis inside the airway to prevent it from collapsing. But it is not well tolerated in the long term, so surgery still remains the best option. If you're a patient that's being treated, say for asthma or COPD, and you're still not feeling well, it's been unsuccessful, might this diagnosis be something that should be considered? It absolutely should be considered. Um, while we don't know the true prevalence of the disease, we think that many of these patients are misdiagnosed. Mm -hmm. And if these tests, bronchoscopy or very specific types of CT scanning that can detect TBM are used, we will see a higher number of patients being diagnosed and then treated properly. Okay, thank you for being with us, shedding some light on something that a lot of people are not aware of. My pleasure. Good to have you with us.